Whatever. I, I'm just. You're wearing shorts, fool. It's tripping me out. I've never seen you wear shorts. So hot outside. I what forgot too. As long as I'm cut from my head, waist up. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> as long as it's edited up from my waist up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back here. Another episode of Comedy Club Confessions. My guest today is the very, very funny Mark Hayes. How's it going, lads, ladies, lassies, young Jack? Young Jack. Yo, you talked to my dad all? <laughs> I talked to him at the club right recently. Yeah? I didn't know it was your dad at first. Oh, really? I was like, who's the guy with the dog? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the guy with the dog keeps looking at me, and then he came up and he's like, you're funny. And I was like, thanks, mister. Thanks, Mister. And then Chris Delia was like, "Oh, that's Jack's dad." I was like, "Oh yeah, he's cool. You and your mom are or her him." All right, losing <laughs> words. The heat's kicking in, <laughs> listeners. I'm an Irish man. I'm sweating like a whore, bro. So, okay, I have a question. So, uh, how long have you been doing comedy, and when did you come in the game? Like twelve years. Twelve years. You've been at life for twelve years. Yeah. No freaking way. Yeah, I just hid for ages. Till you like, were hid, hiding forever. Like yeah. you just popped out of nowhere. I'm like, I, I'm seeing this guy everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, how come? I, I I was actually bothered that I didn't know you. Oh yeah, because I'm just, like, this guy is everywhere. I'm seeing him everywhere, and I'm like, I can't remember who gave me advice. It might have been like this is random. It might have been Richard Lewis, and he goes, "Do the worst open mics you can find for ages, uh-huh. like anywhere but in Hollywood, uh-huh. so that people don't know who you are, and then you can just show up and be good." Yeah. So I just did that. And then I'd also like, I'm not good at socializing unless I'm boozing. So uh-huh. I'd be at clubs or at these open mics and I'd just be like in the back hiding. Because I just didn't, I'd be like, hey, how's it going, man? I'm a, I'm a fucking loser like you. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I remember the first time I saw you was on a Laugh Factory post and you were standing next to Chris D'Elia. And I'm like, this guy looks just like Chris. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, who is this guy? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, that's Mark Hayes. I'm like, I'm like, is he new? Is he an open micer? What is he? Like, no, he's been doing it forever. I'm like, and is he from LA? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. get it. Where were you performing at before? Just the most random fuck. I used to drive for ages, just be driving around. I don't even know the name of the place. Just go into the desert and do some shows. Just like suck and then question why I moved to LA, and but then keep going. Okay. But I, I never like, I never. I went to the Laugh Factory one ages ago, like the open mic. I'd be at the comedy store. I just never got up at these places. They want to put you up. I just, yeah, I was just not good at it. Because, like, I don't look like I'm Irish. So when I first talk to you, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yeah, he's, yeah. He, I've got this accent. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of just be like, who is he? They're like, oh, is he fucking, like, on the spectrum? <laughs> and I was just getting nowhere. And then eventually I was just like, all right, I know what I'm fucking doing. Yeah, yeah. Let's you be more assertive. Yeah, you're just, uh, you, you, I didn't know you were, I, yeah. your, your voice is, because uh, we talk at the comedy club, we were kind of whispering all the yeah, time, because yeah. we're in the back, yeah. right? I think right now is the first time I'm actually really hearing your, <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I'm actually hearing your voice, and yeah, it's a little fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the problem, like a lot of people, I think I'm at the point now, where the first like three lines I say to someone, I can say it clearly so they hear me. And then like you said, like after a while, they'll be like, what the fuck, what's that voice you have? I'm like... <laughs> I'm from Ireland, and they're like, oh, that makes sense. I didn't get it. I didn't hear it at first. I know you said it. Can you sound like an American? Hey, (laughs) y'all. Y'all doing swell out there in Candyland? Who here likes sugar? What what movie is that from? (laughs) I'm just doing your accent. Oh, my. Is that like that? (laughs) I honestly, I wish I could sound like you. I, I remember on stage, I was making fun of his accent. But I was quote, I was quoting Braveheart, which is Scotland. And then I went up and I didn't plan it because there was a weird looking fucker in the front. Yeah. <laughs> it just made it all weird. So who did you roll with back then? Literally fucking, eh. Like you see, because you've been, doing, you've been doing comedy the same as, as many years as I have been yeah. doing. I used to do, do you remember Crazy Cindy? Crazy Cindy. She used to do shows at the comedy store. Oh, the comedy store. Yeah. She booked 35 people. Yeah. And I would, um, I'd come do that. And she thought that I was like someone from Ireland and she would put me on. And I just, like people like that. I remember like, fuck, I don't even know if half the people are doing it. I remember Linochi, Michael Linochi, we used to do fucking some Indian restaurant on a, like it used to be, <laughs> but like at 3 p.m. A restaurant, Indian, Indian restaurant. restaurant, yeah, in Santa Monica, and there was like a who found that you were him. We <laughs> we bought. <laughs> it was actually it was a pack. We were the only customers they have in there, but it was like a lot of people. But it was so bright, and I'd done it long enough there to be like, all right, I know 
if I bomb, I just need to get a nugget of a joke. Because uh, it was the toughest. If, like, if we went there now, we'd still the, the bomb. Be, yeah, <laughs> let's go. If we were, it's closed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank fuck. Like, I used to have girls showing up there thinking it was a show. Yeah, yeah. Because they'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm going doing some, like, stand-up. And uh, they'd show up and they're like, I'm here for the show. And it's like, I'm like, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> This is not going to be good. And there's guys up there being like, I might fucking kill myself. <laughs> oh, my God. And then they'd have no joke. And so it was just, just open, like, hardcore open mic. Hardcore. Like, unbelievable. Oh, and then so next weird. door, like, there was um, a fucking massage parlor. Yeah. But, like, a fucking rub and tug or whatever it's called. So and, that's like, what you guys found. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, oh, they're like, I, remember, hey, I just got jerked off. <laughs> hey, look, there's a comedy show going on. <laughs> I'd see someone I know. What are you doing here? I'm doing stand-up. That's how I got into stand-up. My life's you passion. A, you went to a rub and tug, <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing here? They like, oh, I'm doing stand-up. <laughs> my girlfriend at the time was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, this is my dark secret. Oh man! Imagine dude. she was like, I, "I prefer if you were getting a rope and tug." <laughs> <laughs> why did you? So why did you start stand up then? For real? I was just in LA. I, I was in Ireland and I was like studying. I've like a master's degree and shit. Do you have a master's degree? Uh, yeah. So I'm very smart on paper. In person, as you can tell. Idiot. On paper, what, what, what degree in what? Like I have a degree in commerce in German, and then I have a master's degree in e business, which is like building apps and fucking Bitcoin and all this shit. No way. Do you own Bitcoin? Uh, I own some other stuff that is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> like XRP. But I'm just going to, I'm not looking at it for, I'm not going to look at it for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Cause what I, is it? What do you own? Uh, some Dodge and Cardona, whatever the I fuck have the same called. shit. Yeah, some fucking. Bro, it's EP. so bad right now. And, but I'm not, I'm not even talking about it. Look, me and my buddy were up so much. Yeah. And now we're, we're not even up a slight but like it's fucking pocket change at this point yeah but it's like, so bad you can't sell so you can't sell like, you like i own a thousand of yeah. these coins <laughs> no like, way right. more oh, we oh, were yeah. way up <laughs> we thought we were gonna go home to ireland and they're like these guys <laughs> went to america yeah i swear to god we were like at one point we had a conversation be like they're gonna have us on the late late show because <laughs> he's in new york and i'm in la and we were like because I'd, I'd way more than him i just kept buying and buying and buying and he was like, fuck it, I'm going to keep buying. But I'd way more. And then it gets to the point where, like, we're going to be fucking, we're going to be like million, million, million yeah, years. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you were up for a while, a couple of 50, 100, 100 grand, 100 grand. Yeah, grand. like around there. Yeah. Ages up. And then it just and went then, down. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Then you're like, it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. And then you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at too. I'm at too. But and then we thought, all right, then, because I was chatting to a woman at the time who was up like, she was up over a million. Just like this was her part time thing. So she was telling me what to do. And she was like, once it hits a dollar or once it hits this amount, we're going to back out. And then she started going, but imagine it hit 10. And like, uh, that's it. But then it's I, gambling, bro. It's I did imagine. Gambling. Yeah, because I used to be addicted. I, I was good at poker before. I stopped playing. You were good at poker before. But I like no, never told anyone. So I just show up and I'd be at, like, at a game, be like, how'd you play? All right, let me try. And you win. Yeah, and clean out. But I, then I moved on to like online poker. And me and my buddy, like, we were just fucking cleaning up. <laughs> but we didn't care. It was the gambling part. So that, I have a feeling you started comedy because you were a, a degenerate gambler. No, no, I was oh. bored. <laughs> okay. That was it. I was always looking for something to fill the gap. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was in uh, Ireland. I was doing a master's degree. And, like, I had a project to do. And it was like building a fucking shopping website based on like your fucking needs and wants. It was like, it was, I was building for myself because uh -huh. I was buying so many t shirts. And I had so much free time that I was just like, fuck it. I started watching Seinfeld and shit. <laughs> and I was like, I want to do that. And that's like unheard of in Ireland. What would be George Gazanza or Kramer? <laughs> <laughs> I think a <of> Kramer. <laughs> He's like, I want to be Kramer. The only person who can't say that to me because of his hair is you. <laughs> Anyone else? I'm like, all right, you got a point. I'm honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm only, I, I like my hair short. My, yeah. my manager was like, you know, you look more likable. Oh yeah, with your hair. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. Like, when your hair slicked back, you look mean. Yeah, like my hair gets too long and it makes me look like sleazier. <laughs> and uh, yeah, someone told me recently they're like, cut it, you look like younger and fresher. So I cut it. Every time I cut it, I'm like, why the fuck did I do, do this sooner? Yeah. But wait, so then I was in Ireland <laughs> and. Uh, I started reading all this shit, and I was like, all right, I'm going to... So I started writing scripts, and then somehow 
like Ireland's all like uh, my aunt knows someone and they got me a meeting with the main TV station. They read the script and they were like, let's take a meeting. I took a meeting and they were like, who the fuck are you? They're like, what have you done? And I was like, oh, I'm like in university. They were like, fuck off. I have off. crypto yeah. degree. <laughs> and they were like, fuck off. And I was like, uh, all right, fuck you. I, <laughs> out of spite, I was like, I'm going to go to LA and, and prove you wrong. No way. So everything I do now is out of spite. And you, you're proving them wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now if I go back, I, I know everyone's name too. I have a list. A list. I, like everything is out of spite, but it's the best motivator for me. It's, it's your vision board. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Eddie something. <laughs> Who is it? Say his name. Who cares? Eddie Doyle. <laughs> Fuck you, Eddie Doyle. But, no, he, he was nice. <laughs> Mark he, has shorts now. Yeah. <laughs> and a hair really sweat like and, a whore. And he owns a bunch of coins. <laughs> oh, man. That's fucking hilarious. But then, yeah, I just moved here. So know. you went, you came to LA with no stand up no, history at no, all. No, Nothing. No. Zero. Did no. you watch it on TV over there? In Ireland? I watched some, but like, I didn't know Who how. Who was I, a famous comedian in Ireland? Oh, there was none growing this up. This is 13 years ago, right? Yeah. So Conor McGregor was like the shit right then, right? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, right before. He, he, yeah, not even. still a plumber? Yeah, full on. <laughs> I remember watching Sarah Silverman, and then I watched Seinfeld. I watched uh, Patrice O'Neill. Who would watched... you? Oh, Patrice is great. Who would you say is a uh, you kind of wanted to have like that kind of style oh, comedy? Patrice and Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like talking. I see freely. that. I can see you freely. Patri- yeah, I see the producingness in you. Just freely. No, well, he like... says some. Sometimes, bro, this guy just says cunt like seventy five times. And, <laughs> yeah, because like... and I'm like. Dude, it's the, it, it's the early show. People are having dinner. <laughs> That's so funny when people say that to me. They're it's like, great. could you not say a cunt one less time? One less. I'm like, fuck you, cunt. That's, <laughs> That's an extra time. But yeah, it's just that like fucking, oh, you don't fuck with me. Well, I'm going to fuck with you till you laugh. Yeah, yeah. I love that shit. I like it. Yeah. So then you're yeah, just watching them. Who else? It was, it's honestly, they're my top two. I like Eddie Murphy. Um. I like Louis and Burr. Do you feel like you? it's harder for you or easier for you because of your accent? Do you feel like you have more to talk about? Because th- I think, personally, I yeah. think that when you're on stage, you grab everyone's attention right away because of your accent. Yeah. And I think it helps you. Do you think it hurts you? I think it hurts because it's also, I have to be aware of words much more. Like I did a show in front of Irish people recently, and I was free as fuck. Because I could say a word, and it'll throw you off fully. Like right now, you just cruise, you said troll. Yeah, but I, you said I understood because you're I'm this yeah, close. Yeah. But if you said it on stage, I wouldn't have got yeah, that. Yeah, they'd be like, "What the fuck does he mean? What's a troll? Like a fucking <laughs> a drone? A drone? He's talking about drones." And I'm like, a "Troll? I'm not, yeah, I, tro- I thought yeah. a troll. That's hilarious. You almost need a fucking you almost need Instagram subtitles yeah, on stage. I do that joke. I was like, I wish I had a fucking thing, and it would it would just say and repeat, "Fuck you, cunts." <laughs> Oh, so man. like that's the only thing the accent helps but then also it's like i have to make my shit relatable to american audiences so i have to like it's tough i'm at the point where i ha- I still have to explain some stuff mm-hmm. but that's where i get a lot of laughs now at the start i wasn't figuring that part out yeah yeah i would tell a joke and they would not get it yeah. And I'm like, they'll get it. But now if I say, oh, all right, you're a bit of a stupid crowd. <laughs> so I got a whole new bit from calling them stupid. Stupid, yeah. And it, like, it gets them more on my side. Yeah, yeah. Whereas before, it's just like, it's like fucking, you know, you figure out, oh, this is a good trick to do now. I figure like, I think it's more as like, you don't care now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you care, yeah. You when you care about what they're thinking, yeah. you suck. Oh yeah, and you're so tight. Yeah, you're like, I can't say <laughs> this. But then now like when you're like, I don't give a fuck yeah. you. I, I, I That's what like, I do. I have that attitude. I don't give a yeah. fuck, fuck you. Oh guys. yeah, it's way better. It's better. Now. You feel so much more free. But, like you can't cheat that. Yeah. You literally can't. You can't no. go like um, oh, I can do this straight away. Like one in a fucking million can. Yeah, yeah. We have to keep doing it to the point where you're like Oh, fuck these people. I don't need them. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'll just yeah. do another show if I bomb yeah. now. Yeah, who cares? If I, if I bomb, I bomb. But it takes you ages being like, if I bomb, that's... I remember I bombed before I performed Craig Robinson's birthday, probably 11 years ago. Uh-huh. So I was just in. He's like one of my longest friends here. He hates me saying that. <laughs> and it was his birthday. We were just talking about him on another podcast. That's great. <laughs> yeah, he's so great. <laughs> he's the best. He wrote like a foreword to my first book and it was just like, take off your panties. <laughs> take, your pa- take your panties, <laughs> take your panties off. off yeah. <laughs> but I did, a, it was his birthday and uh, I, I went, I met him like through my ex 
and like there was Jeff Ross, there was all these big comedians there, and he's like, "We're going to get comedians up," and he was just laugh at me because he he understood me, but no one else understood me. Yeah, yeah. And I went up there, and he goes, he called my name out first to do like five minutes, and I went up there, and like I it was just I was the only white person I could see, so I started panicking a bit, and I was just like, uh, "Was uh, everyone was happy birthday to Craig?" And I could hear. See, they didn't have a clue what I was saying. Yeah. And I just heard this woman saying, what's wrong with his hair? <laughs> and it threw me off. And I was just like, oh, I think I started panicking. I started singing. For five minutes, I sang happy birthday, Craig. <laughs> but it wasn't even happy birthday. My head had just got all mumbled up. And it was I sang like a depressing song about being an alcoholic. But I made up new words. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just on stage. Sing along if you know the words. Yeah. And I died inside. I didn't oh. stand up for about six months after it. Oh. Yeah, it crippled me. Was, I was Craig playing the piano? Or he no? was just laughing at me. He was laughing he at you, even, not yeah. with you. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Craig's the nicest guy in the world. So oh, yeah. He was, no, probably, he, he was laughing at me, bombing, and no one in the audience saying a word. That's crazy. And you were up there, you stood there, you stood up, you were up there for five minutes I kept, bombing. I couldn't get off. I kept singing. I kept clapping. <laughs> I kept going, goodbye to the port and brandy, to the vodka and the stag. <laughs> Happy birthday, Craig. Come on, everyone. Sing they along. Sing along. And they're like, <laughs> get this guy off the stage. Or is it an improv? No, it was that like a, just a random bar on like Wiltshire or Third Street. That's terrible. Brutal. You fucking ruined his birthday. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I went home. Even like I told the girl I was with at the time, I was like, just laugh at the first thing I say so the crowd loosens up. Yeah. yeah. The minute I left her side, some guy swooped in, chatted her up. So she wasn't even watching me. Oh. So I was like, that I, sucks. Yeah, I'm fucked. Who is uh, someone that's helped you like come up in comedy? Richard Lewis helped me a lot randomly. So I wrote books when I first came here. Uh huh. I was just writing blogs about how stupid this place is and then like <laughs> are newspapers these, in there. Are these blogs still up? On the internet? Yeah, I stopped doing it because I was like, it was taking too much time, so I just moved. I can do a lot of stuff, but not at the same time. Uh-huh. So I got to write a book, but I have to just write the book. You smoke weed? No. Oh, you just sober? Just drink? Yeah, just booze. Okay. Um, And then Richard Lewis read like a couple of my books, and I loved him from Curb, and he hit me up through a mutual friend. He was like, I want to take you to lunch. So we, I got to lunch with Richard Lewis. It was unreal. Wow. And he's just like, I want to get you into the Laugh Factory. And that's why he told Jamie Masada about me. And he's like, Jamie, you got to get this guy. He's a writer. He's like, he's going to be a great stand-up. Put him on. And then Jamie put me on. And then Jamie was trying to sell a TV show with me. <clears throat> it was all confusing. But he then, made you sign a contract? <clears throat> yeah. Like, all this, <laughs> he's like, I, I don't know. Buddy, before you come in, sign <laughs> yeah. this piece of paper. But then he was kind of, I didn't know that. I was doing a showcase for him. And I didn't know that you weren't meant to curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was up there. You and, opened with curse. As I was walking on. The guy goes to me, just so you know, you're not meant to curse. And I was like, ah, fuck off. Yeah. And I, he was like, he's joking. I was like, is this fucker joking? I can't curse. And the crowd went silent. And I was like, come on, come on, you fucks, loosen up. <laughs> and they like gave me the light after a minute. Oh. Yeah. So that's a, I got yanked and they were like, yeah, don't come back. And then. What was, was this? What year was this? Uh, this must have been at least. Eight years ago. That's why I just disappeared then. Oh my god! So you yeah, got you got yeah. blue by Craig, and then Jamie lit you. <laughs> That's not that. You still doing comedy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Back, and then like all these comedians who saw me and like they were like, "Who the fuck are you?" Because I just stayed out of it. Because I was like, I, I gotta get good. Uh -huh. I just had to figure it out. Because I'm like, I'm fucking myself up here. Yeah. But it was part of the process. I that suppose. was honestly probably one of the best things you probably did. Too. Yeah. So a lot because a lot of people. They just keep bombing over and over. Yeah, I couldn't do it because like yeah. I, I have a, I have an aspect of self awareness that I don't see a lot of fucking comedians having. They don't. That I'm like, oh, you're bombing here. <laughs> yeah, some comics will fall in love with a five minute set and it's not good. Yeah, and they'll fucking do it over and over and over and over and over. And I'm like, yo, didn't work four in a yeah, row. <laughs> listen, you should listen to this. Lenoci told me that he was like, you just got uh, Ian Edwards is like, listen to every set. And like, and then it's slowly like people like Ian and Lenochi and then Chris Delia and stuff started like vouching for me around the place. Yeah, Theo yeah. Vaughn. And then like, uh, Jamie heard about me and he heard that all these comics like me and he called me in and he was just like, yeah, I want you to do your own night. I think Richard Lewis hit him up again. Did babe. you go, do you remember me? 
yeah, he was the whole thing. And then he was like, oh, yeah, buddy, sure, I gave you your start in this business. He said that? Yeah. That's like, hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. I was like, yeah. Yeah, you gave me the light. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me my first light. <laughs> oh, that's... But, well, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't care. I mean... I, I, I like to think a lot of people say that I give it, they, people say it all the time. Yeah, but that, that's good. Yeah, I give you my start. Okay, yeah, everyone, everyone's saying that. They're, yeah. they're talking about you. Yeah, exactly. Who and cares? I mean, like, they're not saying, oh, I don't know this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, James was like, I give you this start. You know, yeah, that's good. He started, he started Tiffany Haddish. He started yeah, a lot of people. Exactly. Of, so that's a good, it's a good name. That, it's a good, it's, it's good. I'm, yeah. He, he, like, even yesterday, he phoned me about something else. Oh, doing shows like or in the other clubs around the place. And he still mentioned how he gave me a start. And I'm like, all right, if, as long as he's still mentioning that, he, he likes me. Yeah, yeah. Which is good because like... You still producing shows there? Uh, I moved to the improv, but I prefer, I just want to do spots there now. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. It's just easier to do. It's deal so much with. easier. Yeah. Some it's places, one. like, as you know, some places are smooth. Smooth. Other places aren't. Improv is cool because it's a, it's, a, it's a corporation, man. It's yeah, like, exactly. There's no, so there's no... There's no like, oh... Did we agree this is a flat this? rate yeah, on yeah, for yeah. everybody, yeah, unless yeah. you're a star. You bring, you know, yeah, with the with the with, with I'm not gonna say what club, but you have the laugh factor. <laughs> 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 with every club, like even our club, they, they, they every different producer gets a different rate. Yeah, yeah, you I know? mean, like, and it's just it's confusing and it's it's hard. Well, what a lot of people don't know because this is for comics that are watching. A lot of people don't know. People come to LA. The best way to get the most stage time, which I tell everyone, is to create a show. Yeah, you it's create unreal. a show. You you build an audience, you oh, build yeah. fans, you host, you get you get a limited stage time, yeah, and then you're making connections with other comics, and you trade spots, and it just yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, but like I remember a lot of stuff that annoys me. Uh, like six months later, I'm like, oh, I should be doing that because I used to hate. I was like, the LA comedy scene is just like people organizing their own show and giving other people the stage time, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, it should be. Bit. I'm like, oh no, this is how the game is. Yeah, like you can't you can't be like. Oh, I'm different. You're Are not. you talking about the Facebook page, the like comedy scene, or just in no, general? No, no, just in general. Oh, I man. remember like when I was starting out, I was like, it was just people just giving each other spots on shows, and yeah, it was yeah. the same show. And I was like, how do I get a spot? They're like, yeah. oh, what can you do for me? It's like, oh, I'll make people laugh. They're like, yeah, everyone's going to make them laugh. Yeah, yeah, but help me out, bring some people. Yeah, I mean, like now when I book my show and some unknown person hits me up or someone like up and coming, they're like, oh, I'd love to do 15 minutes. I'm like, I know you would. Everyone would love yeah. to. <laughs> And I'm like, you're offering zero. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I remember saying to someone, do you, do you bring people to the show? They're like, no, man. They're like, I'm a proper comic. I'm like, oh, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You're like three years in. I hate that. Yeah. And I like, hate that. I freaking hate that, man. Yeah. And it's like, it's fuck. It's not reading the game. It's mental. That's why I like you. Someone you read everything. You're like, yeah. oh, I get it. So many people don't get it. They don't get it, man. And it's infuriating when yeah. you're just like. Like, some people would be like, oh, I'll give you five minutes up top. You can call open. And they'd be like, no, I'm better than that. You're like, oh, you're okay, never the, getting the spot. Yeah, you're never getting a spot. That was a favor I was handing Dude, you. Dude, I would, like, back then, I would suck a fucking dick to get on yeah. the improv or comedy store for five minutes. It's fucking now it's like, oh, I'm not a, I remember one time someone messaged me. I go, hey, man. Uh, hey man, you think I get a spot at the haha? -ha? I said, sure, man. I said, you know, honestly, I have a long, long list of comics. Yeah. But to get you to the top of the list, if you help me promote the show, we get yeah, some people yeah, out. Yeah. I'm not a bringer. I thought just being funny was necessary. I said, bro, you need to stand out out of this entire pool of people. Yeah. I said, like the Theo Vons, the freaking Brendan Schaubs, that level, Chris Alia is that level, your level. Like they're gonna if I put their picture on the flyer, people some people coming. will coming. Yeah. But if you, Joe Johnson, whoever you did, if there's a Joe Johnson, sorry, no, no. <laughs> but I'm saying if you're not bringing anything Rene to the table, Vaca. Rene, Rene Vaca. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not bringing anything to the table, then well, I don't See, know. like it blows my mind that you can't. I, I told like here's the thing, really famous people are bringers. Yeah. They're bringing people yeah. to the fucking show. Every famous person is a bringer. Yeah, so like you're an unknown person, so you have to bring people somewhere. Yeah, you have to bring people no matter. You're always gonna be a bringer. Yeah, it, it, like what do you think a fucking sold out Bill Burr show is? Yeah, it's a fucking. He bringer. brought those he people. Brought. <laughs> you think anyone was there to see the fucking feature act? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's like I know it's all. It's like once you get it, you get it. But some people they don't get it. Uh, another, the easiest way to get booked too. Be funny and just don't be fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> the, the amount of people who are so annoying that you're like, man, I gave, I just gave you an opening spot. Yeah, yeah. And they'll keep asking me. And I'm like, all right, you didn't bring anyone. Yeah. You did grand. You yeah, didn't yeah. kill. Yeah, yeah. You, you not did mediocre. Like, yeah. Like you, yeah. you didn't, if you would lit the room on fire, yeah. 
like I have some friends who aren't famous, but I put them on the show because I'm like, yeah, like he me. can close. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, he's gonna kill. There's no lull in yeah, yeah. talent. Yeah, yeah. People just might not know him as much but as. But he's these. gonna do well. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, if you're just gonna do okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't and need not you. Bring anyone. I don't need you. Yeah, I'll just do. Dude, an, I'll do extra time. You know what Darren Carter did to me? You know Darren Carter. Yeah. Right? You know what he did to me one time? What? He did my show. As he gets off stage, he asked me for a spot. I said, "It's the same day." <laughs> I said, "I can't. I don't know." Hey, yeah. well, what don't you like about Rene Vaga? What happened? <laughs> oh, Rene knows. He owes me five shillings. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's my favorite Indian man. <laughs> I love Rene. He's great. So what happened with um? So, so I have a question. I ask all the comics. We're almost running out of time. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Oh, before comedy showcase app, guys, check out the comedy showcase app. Uh, comics upload their videos, get content up, get your views up, get paid. Great app. Check it out, please. Thank you to our sponsor, comedy showcase app. Um, I ask this to all the my guests. Is there someone that you think maybe has beef with you and you don't even know about it? And you're like, I don't know why. I don't know why that guy doesn't like me. Oh. Because yeah. that's how comedians are. But we always feel like, oh, my God, that guy doesn't like me for some reason. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think. There's probably. Hmm. Is it more than one person? Yeah, definitely. But, I just, but there's been so many that don't like me that I'm just like, ah, fuck them. But why? Why do you think they don't like you? Oh, I know why. Because I seem like a cunt when you first meet me. <laughs> And then if you're a bit stupid and you meet me a few more times and yeah. you're like, oh, you don't get me, so fuck you. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't see that. I didn't think that, that about you. I but think. yeah, but like some people are stupid too. There's a few people I see like, oh, they, I'm like, what's up, man? You don't like me? And there's like, oh. <laughs> but they're like, I, they're so insignificant. I've forgotten who they are. Yeah. I let them go. I read all these. I meditate every day. So I'm just like. Right, you do really? Me. Oh, yeah. I'm on like a. Almost an 800 day streak. No fucking way. Yeah. How do you meditate? You just close your eyes and you think about something? I used to do that, but then there was like, I use this app now, Headspace app. Oh, I heard about that. Did you get it? I heard it's about it. It's fucking unreal. I have so many apps on my phone, bro. No, no. I just got a Fitbit. Dude, that means. I you, just got a Fitbit. You need this app if you have so many apps in your phone. So many apps. I was pissed yesterday. There I should be a porn, porn, <laughs> a porn meditator. Porn, porn. It's just some woman in your ear. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, that's just fucking American women having sex. <laughs> they just play that app. Yeah, you're so big. What's the app? What does it do? It really helps you? Man, I was pissed. Did you ever get pissed for no reason? You're like, fuck this fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. I feel like fuck. that every fucking day. I, I did this for 10 minutes. I do it for 20, but I did it for 10 yesterday. At the end, I was in such a good mood. I rode a load. I walked so out. Explain me. How do you do it? Like, what do you do? You put down the app. You close your eyes. The app talks to you. It says, all right, we're just going to go through this. And then it it does that to start. It talks more and more to keep you focused, so you don't go like "fuck this bullshit." He's just telling you breed, breed in, breed out, breed in, breed out. Then you take it to the next level, and the gaps of silence are longer. Like listen to the sound of my voice. Not even that. No, that's like hypnotizing. Okay. This is just telling you take a breath, take another breath, let it go. And he's just like hold your stomach. And then you start doing it. You have to do it. Though. Are you exercising too, or just, just no, no? You're just sitting there. You have to do it, otherwise you're just like fooling yourself. Oh, okay. It's like pretending you're sober and then you're still drinking. Got it. So if you're doing it, I swear to God, by the end your head is clear. All those little annoying things, like you'll see someone get a spot that you wanted. Yeah. In the end, you're like, that has nothing to do with me. That's so true. Yeah, it's yeah. but like that, app, but that. But that's great for people, for comedians. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise you're like, how the fuck did he get that night? And yeah. like you realize, oh, none of that is anything. Yeah. No one got anything over me. Yeah. That's just jealousy. Well, I'm happy, man. You're fucking doing well. Happy you're my friend, bro. This is yeah. uh, this been is a great. great episode, guys. Yeah, Mark Hayes, please go follow him. Where can they find you at? Uh, down the alley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Instagram, the Mark Hayes, Twitter, Trickadoo. The Mark Hayes. The little Mark Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Comedy Club Avengers. Peace.